Hi everyone, Mary Zarnecki here with today's episode of Sticky Note Marketing. If this is your first time joining me for Sticky Note Marketing, I am a marketing strategist, speaker, consultant, coach, and I work with everything from big brands to small scrappy startups and local businesses, help create irresistible offers and get those offers in front of the people who need them most. So today I have a very special topic that is very close to my own heart. Um, as some of you know, that may have, uh, heard by episodes before. I'm not just a online business owner, a coach and consultant in the marketing sphere, but I'm also a co-owner of a local restaurant with my husband, who's a fourth generation chef and restaurateur. So in light of current events, our lives, just like many other people, most other people have been uh, radically changed. Life looks very different uh, today than it did mm, two weeks ago. So I wanted to come on here today and talk about this very special special topic that I have gotten so many questions about um, from my community, from my email list, um, from friends and relatives who are faced with this uh, change, basically this desire, this need to essentially pivot, whether it's a service-based business that's already kind of dabbled in doing stuff online, but now is uh, being forced to, to take an uh, seriously online virtual approach to their business, or it's someone who's never really delivered a product, a service, or leveraged their expertise to deliver an online or a virtual product, and is now really being forced to, to consider, at least in the short term, how can they take what they know, what their expertise is, and transform that into some kind of virtual or remotely um, delivered option or offer. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. So um, you may be asking, okay, well, why are you qualified to share this? Or why are you even talking about this? Like, what, what do you have to offer? So just so that you know a little bit about me, I am a remote worker, have been for, oh gosh, several years. Since 2007, I've been working from home virtually, um, both as an employee and as a business owner. So I have learned just a few things about what it's like to work in a virtual environment, uh, whether that's managing people, uh, working with leadership, working with clients virtually. Um, so I, I am familiar with a lot of those challenges. I'm also uh, a consultant and coach, and I have worked with several businesses that have transformed from being local service providers or product services um, to basically moving their business online and creating information offers, virtual offers. Um, and so from that experience, I have a few things I wanted to share with you today. So one of the things that I know is that things are going to continue to change, um, even if everything goes back to normal in a month or two, um, it's still an uncertain time. And so one of the reasons I got into building my own business online and working virtually was to provide myself with security. So I actually had the experience where I was laid off from a job I had been at for uh, almost a decade, four days before Christmas. This was in the middle of a full house renovation. This was with two kids under three years old in the house. And I promised myself crying on my bathroom floor that night, four days before Christmas, that I was never gonna be in that situation, that I was always gonna have multiple revenue streams, multiple ways to support my family, protect myself, both mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, um, to be able to, to provide for the people that I care about most. So that's my backstory. That's where I came from. And that's how I started working in the online space and creating my you know, laptop based business. So for those of you who have dabbled in it and who may be now trying to ramp up the amount that you are doing online, um, I just wanted to speak into that. So one of the first things that we need to think about is what's been successful so far. So if you have been delivering offers online or virtually or building an uh, online-based business, whether that's a personal brand business or a product-based business, we need this is a time where we're, we're looking at what's worked well and what could we double down on. So it's always essential to think about what goals do we want to be achieving? And then what are the things that are actually getting us to those goals fastest and most effectively? So the biggest mistake I see a lot of, especially newer entrepreneurs make, is that they're not measuring what's working. So this is my first piece of advice is if you have the ability to go back and look at the content you've created, look at the offers you've put out, look at the sales pages you've driven traffic to, look at you know whatever you can measure to understand what your audience that you've already built 
likes from you. And that will help you give a direction to where you should go next. Now, if this is totally new to you, if you don't have an email list, you don't have a website, you've never sold anything online, and you're just trying to pivot and figure out how to take what you've done so far, your expertise, and and put that somehow online in a way that that you can still give your gifts to the people who need them most. Um, It's another challenge. But being a researcher, so being someone who asks a lot of questions just naturally, this is where I invite you to go. So you do have an audience. If you've been running a business, even if you're a local-based business or a live business, you have an audience of people who obviously value you. You have these buyers, these customers, these clients. And what I would invite you to do is I would ask them questions. We want to understand what do they need most from you based on your expertise right now? So this is an opportunity to start conversations, to understand what and how you can serve them. So asking them questions about what about your service was unique, what about you was unique, and those are the elements that I help my clients, my students, um, the people I work with in my live training workshops, um, live virtual training workshops, um, basically unpack so that we can actually build an irresistible personal brand or business brand for them. And that's what's the the special sauce is really not trying to come up in a vacuum with special offers or branding or who you want to be or who you want to serve or what do they need from me. That's that's the wrong way to go. We want to ask the people what they need because when you match what they need or what they want, more importantly, with what your zone of genius is, that's where the beauty comes in, right? Is bringing those two things together creates those magnetic brands that people just can't resist. Um, so that's what I want for all of you that are that are faced with these challenges, that are dealing with this time of uncertainty, um, is to, to, I like to say, kind of <laughs> embrace the power of the pause. Don't feel like you have to rush to create like a new seven module course or put it out right away without asking your people what they actually want. Because the biggest mistake could be creating something, spending time, energy, investment, whatever, creating a new online offer based on your expertise, but it's not actually what people want to buy. Um, so asking those questions, speaking into your to your audience, um, understanding how you can support them best will allow you to create something that will light you up, provide for you emotionally, spiritually, financially, but also be something that is of service and in demand by the people that you want to get in touch with. So that's my my big hope for you is that you're you're talking to your audience, you're creating something based on that need, that understanding. Now, um, a great way to get started is actually a guide that I put together specifically to help you start thinking about optimizing if you already have one or it, getting kicked off with a personal brand creation. So I'm gonna put a link above to my personal brand strategy checklist. It's an, a step by step approach um, that I take when I'm working with clients one-on-one or in my small group mentorship to actually think about, okay, how do I position myself? Um, How do I speak to my people? What does my brand stand for? And it helps you kind of walk through that step by step. So I invite you to check that out. It's free um, to download. Um, And I am here to support anyone who is in this situation. um, I invite you also to come join our free Facebook community. I'm in there um, doing a lot of free training this week. And I'm also going to be doing that consistently next week. I'm bringing in special guests in terms of mindset, meditation, sales conversations, uh, branding, positioning, leadership. So I'm bringing my uh, little black book of people to uh, my community there in the free group. So I'm going to post the link to the free group down below. I invite you to join us over there in that community. And I would love to continue the conversation with you. I know these are uncertain, challenging times. um, But I also believe that by doing nothing, you're also making a decision. So this is an opportunity for you, yes, maybe to embrace the power of the pause for a moment, but then to to ask the questions of your audience, of your people, of the people that you want to leverage your expertise to serve, how and what do they need from you so that you can create the most compelling, most irresistible offers um, to provide not only for them, but then also for you and those that you care about most. So this is Mary Zarnecki signing off for this episode of Sticky Note Marketing. I look forward to chatting with you in the group. Cheers. Bye.